So I'm just doing a little bit of free motion quilting today. Trying trying to do uh, something for some projects that I've got coming up. Thought I'd bring you guys along. I'm going to put my free motion foot on my machine and drop my feed dogs. And then I'm just going to do some fiddling. Always kind of something fun to do. And I want to demystify free motion quilting for you people. This is not hard. It doesn't have to be scary or difficult or any of that. I mean, literally takes a couple seconds to put my free motion foot on. And I'm using a Juki TL2010Q. There's a little switch over here to drop your feed dogs. I've got my free motion foot on here. I'm going to start in the middle. And what I'm using today is two pieces of fabric that are 16 inches by 16 inches. I have put some scrap batting in between. I'm going to drop my feed dog foot. And then I'm just going to sew. And you don't have to be afraid of this. This is just do something. Doodle, just like you would on paper. Don't catch your pins while you're doing it, obviously. I want to move this one out of the way since it's going to get caught next. I'm not great at this. I'm not really good at it. I'm just doodling. And there's some mystery about free motion quilting. People are like, oh, you're not supposed to cross thread or you're not supposed to do this or that or the other. Do what makes you happy. Doodle some flowers in if that's what you want to do. Same stuff you doodle if you were stuck sitting on the phone talking to somebody. And you were just trying to kill some time. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to put a little steaming in my flowers. And then I'm going to trace along something I've already done so I can get out here and do something different. Remember to take your pins out before you get too close to them. And don't let this intimidate you. It is literally only fabric and only thread, to quote the quilting marine. And by the time you use this, even if you're putting it in a baby quilt or something, it's not going to show anything. I mean, quilters are going to give you lots of grace because that's what quilters do. People who don't quilt don't know if you made a mistake. And the one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to get yourself stuck into a corner. You know, and not all of us can be amazing long armors. I'm not... I'm not even an amazing free motion quilter. I just like to sew. Isn't that why you're doing this? Is because you like to sew. So have fun with it. Draw in a few pebbles. I like to get all the way out to the edges if I can, but I'm going to put binding on whatever I make with this. You know, and you can literally do something that just lets you get in there. Do some loopy-loops. Oops, don't do that. But I'll fix it. You don't like the way something looks? Stop and take it out. Quilt over it. That's usually my choice is to quilt over it. Look at it. I've been quilting for what, two or three minutes? 
I've got most of my little piece quilted. And I'm keeping my hands flat, just running the quilting over things, making sure my little piece of batting is as flat as I can get it to be while I'm quilting. Then I'm going to go over here. I want to get that little piece of, because I'm using scrap pieces of batting. Leftovers from making pod holders or making another quilt. There is no mystery about quilting. You know what quilting is? Quilting is practice. You've been writing all your life. Write your name in it. Write the word I love you in it. If you make a mistake, snip the little mistake. See what I just did? I caught a long stitch around my foot and I'm just going to work my way around it. Ooh, I got myself into a hole. Look, I crossed the thread. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Unless you're entering jury quilt shows, trying to win a contest, something like that, it's just quilting. Just so. After you've done it for a while, You'll figure out something that you like. You'll figure out something that works for you. Maybe you'll go watch Angela Walters or Tiffany or Tucker or anybody who quilts and sews. And you'll decide, okay, I want to try what they're doing. That's great. Do it. something different. What's the worst that can happen? Somebody's going to say, oh well, they didn't do a very good job at that particular item. So what? Do I care? I stink at feathers, so I try to throw one in everything. And then I watch other people make them. And then I try again. I learn something from everybody. Little of this, little of that. I don't like the way it looks. I quilt over it and call it pebbles or something else. But the only way you learn how to quilt is just to play. And that's all I'm doing this morning is just playing. And there's my whole little back piece quilted. I'm going to probably throw that on the back of a project bag or something else. And I'm going to call it good. My tensions on the back are good. We'll see how it, how it turns out. You have a great day.